half a day, I'm Mayana, and you're watching Uno Profile. My current title is Miss Universe Guam 2017. So my name is Mayana Tukumawevi Welch, and I am now 28 years old. Saipan and I spent a lot of time at the beach. I was always swimming, I was always in the trees eating mangoes, coconuts, whatever it was. I lived in um, like a little jungle which was super cool because uh, I really got that jungle experience like going through the Tongan Tongan trees and I was just getting lost and then coming back. It's uh, pretty awesome. always happy because I always had something to do. Um, at the very young age I got really involved in swimming so uh, I was so busy in the mornings I'd be swimming from 5 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. then I would go to school and then after school I'd go to either volleyball or basketball practice and then after that I'd go back to swimming and one day my parents were like you have to decide on a sport and I couldn't decide and it wasn't until my dad said Whichever sport you pick, all the other sports, you have to get rid of your, your gear. So I had so many bathing suits of every color. I was like, oh, I think I'm gonna stick with swimming. <laughs> By the time I was eight, I was flying to Australia to compete internationally because like, I was just a tadpole. I just picked it up and Every other month, or every month, I was here in Guam training or competing. And so the Guam team was kind of like family to me. When we traveled internationally, uh, we were always traveling with the Guam team, staying near the Guam team, hanging out with them. So I was just like, we're all the same. And uh, it was a really fun experience growing up in Saipan. So shy. I used to think I was so ugly and <laughs> you know when you're younger yeah. I looked so different too because like I was just taller and then I had like my nose was skinny and I didn't like I wanted a flat nose I wanted brown skin I wanted all of that and I was like mom why didn't your jeans kick in more she's like I can't help it did you did you ever see yourself competing in pageants when you were younger not until I saw my first pageant. Um, I saw the Miss Marianas when I was, I think, 16, no, 15, I was 15. And I watched the pageant and I just loved the confidence and the beauty and the sparkles and like just the fact that these girls were just up on stage doing uh, the craziest the things that I would never even dream of doing because I was just so shy. So I was just always back and forth, but I would always stay in Guam because this is where my sister and, my, and a lot of my other family members are. And uh, like, I was just like, why am I flying back and forth? I was like, I was between California, Hawaii, and here, and I was just like, I just think I want to be close to home. So I moved back, my sister got pregnant, I wanted to help be a part of that. Like my family was growing and I really wanted to be a part of it. And uh, I'm just such, I'm just such a softy when it comes to like keeping my family together. So I came out here and I was just like, I'm gonna stay here and just like see what it is that I can do to be a part of like my family and a part of the community as well. So that's kind of what brought me out here. It's just family first and then just being home is just definitely something I've always wanted to do. Um, what made you join the Miss Universe? Well, my sister. <laughs> She was like, you have to do it, you have to do it. And I wasn't sure if I was going to do it because, you know, like I've already graduated from college and I'm like, I'm ready to, you know, start businesses. And um, I just thought like, no, that was like 15, 16 year old Mayana, like she wanted to do that. But then the more I thought about it, like it's always been my dream to do the Miss Universe pageant and to be on the Miss Universe stage. And so I was like, I mean, why not? Why not take all of this time and experience and all of these like 
successes and failures that I've experienced in my life and become like an ambassador and not just be Miss Universe but be an inspiration to all the girls and all the children that live here in Guam and Saipan and throughout the Marianas. Like, why not? So I ran, even though my year was a little turbulent. Like, I was like, is it happening or is it not happening? And it happened and I'm so grateful that it did.